Hello again guys, how's it going? So I've showed you some of the best cards revealed in the upcoming Cosmic Inspirations expansion for Legends of Runeterra, but today, let's go over some of the worst cards revealed. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you are new here. Have a good day. So I almost wanted to make this only 4 cards, because I only really saw 4 really bad cards, but to keep it consistent, we're going to bump it up to 5, and unfortunately number 5 will go to the Wrathful Rider. Now this is a 5 and a 7 through with Challenger for Noxus. Now it's not necessarily one of the worst cards ever, and it might every now and then find some rare case value where it's really good, but in most decks and most metagames, I struggle to see how 5 and a 7 through with Challenger is really going to net you that impactfulness uh, the 3 hp is a real hindrance to this card and a lot of the time uh, all the stars have to align for this to be a fantastic card and i just don't really see it being able to uh, achieve quite the mark so number four on the list is going to go to the arm gearhead and it's the one mana one one with the augmented quick attack it does seem like you know a rather strong card for a one drop in terms of what it can provide but the problem is with the amount of one minute pings in the game and ability to deal with just cheap little units like this i don't see arm gearhead finding strong main deck ability one drops have to be pretty crazy to consider running them in anything outside of uh aggro and with the augment keyword this kind of wants to be in a more augment focused deck to really get that value but just um like i don't think it's necessarily a bad card i just don't think it's impactful enough to be main decking a lot of decks and i think this card's gonna be just kind of skipped a lot of the time and i don't think augment decks are necessarily going to consider this card even if they are going aggressive uh, it might be an okay card generated from other cards but its potential to really find a slot in decks is probably going to be uh less than none Number three on the list is going to go to Hunt the Weak, a two mana slow speed spell. Your opponent discards the weakest follower uh, from hand. Now, this just doesn't seem impactful enough. Uh, discarding followers is not oftentimes going to be relevant, especially when they're the weakest follower from hand. And you're playing this in a Noxus deck, and most Noxus decks want to be a bit faster than what this card does. Um, you know, there might be a rare case scenario in some random meta down the track, but as of right now, I don't really see how Hunt the Weak can really provide an edge in most of the current meta game. and expecting a lot of the decks to kind of be around still, Hunt the Weak is probably going to see uh, less than none play. Uh, there might be like the rare case scenario where it's pretty cool if you generate it from a card, but I don't think anything's going to ever generate this card. Uh, we can definitely compare this to Sleight of Hand, and Sleight of Hand is probably generally a better card because stealing the card is usually going to be better than just discarding it. And more specifically, I think stealing a spell is a lot stronger, and Sleight of Hand sees no play. Uh, I think this is going to suffer from the same consequence. Number two on the list is going to go to the Monastery of Harana. This is Ionia's new landmark with a round star, create a sanctuary in hand. It's a three mana, and the sanctuary itself is going to be a one mana burst speed spell with the gem syndrome that allows you to recall a unit. Now, I don't really think this is going to create any new Ionian landmark decks. I don't think there's a lot of logical reasons for running this card in a lot of decks because, first of all, recalling units. For one mana each turn, it's going to be sacrificing, you know, a lot of tempo, and you have to do it before combat as well. I think, honestly, they could have made this card, the Sanctuary itself, uh, be playable in combat, and then suddenly it makes a lot more sense. Maybe that becomes too powerful then. But I, I, I just, I don't really see this slotting into anything as of currently right now, and I don't think there's going to be like a deck built around this card too. This doesn't make a lot of logical sense. Uh, we're going to see some experimentation with this card for sure, but ultimately I think it's going to see its demise and maybe in the future we might see a lot more reasons to consider running a recall deck, but as of right now, this just doesn't seem like a very good card. And number one on the list goes to the Boom Ship, a three mana slow speed spell for Bilgewater. Deal one to a unit, then summon Powder Cakes equal to the amount of damage dealt. This seems, this seems just very expensive. It just seems too expensive for what it does. And like, you want to be 
somehow buffing up this card to play it and then like usually you're probably going to be using kegs to do that maybe some pnz uh funsmith stuff but still spending three mana to kind of delete your kegs and remove something to maybe get more kegs back with this like card having such an easy way of being interacted with it just seems far too slow for a lot of build word decks and just doesn't seem it seems like an extremely clunky card and i'm surprised this even like ended up the way that it did i think this could be like two mana and it's probably still not that good uh you're pretty much building a deck purely focused on kegs or funsmith but those decks want to be more aggressive and relying on other tools to remove stuff like you could pretty much just play like a noxy and fervor kind of to deal three damage and not worry about the keg synergy but uh, i think the main issue is that probably not so much the cost the cost is quite high up there on the impact but i think the slow speed really hinders it as well uh, this is this seems like probably one of the worst cards we've seen but um yeah like i i it's this i don't understand so that will do it for some of the worst cards but what do you guys think maybe you guys saw it differently than i did maybe boom ship might be crazy probably not but yeah regardless i'd love to hear your thoughts don't forget to jump down there and say hello uh if you're new here consider subscribing to the youtube channel as we make some retail content quite regularly and don't forget to leave a like helps out a lot you guys have a fantastic day and i'll catch you in the new expansion